Hello everyone, in this video tutorial we will learn about the methods in Java. So what is a method? A method is a block of code which only runs when it is called. So uh, we have a method here public static void main. So this method is different, okay? Don't consider other methods like the public static void main. It doesn't require to be called. It is not required to be called. It is called automatically by the JVM, Java Virtual Machine. We are telling about all other methods in Java. So methods are used to perform certain actions. Like the uh, public static void main is used for making the action of starting of a Java program. Java program will start from the main method, right? Yes, for all other methods, we should suppose to see today how it actually defined and how it actually works. So Java methods are of two types. One is uh, is a system defined types, the predefined methods like the system.out.println. So we know about the system.out.println. It's very uh, widely used Java method uh, for printing something into the output screen. This this things available by Java compiler. Okay, so we don't care about this. Yes, uh, these are the available things. Uh, there are lots of the different packages are there. If you import those package, you can get lots of the different methods available. We are mainly focusing over here in the user defined Java methods. So. Java methods, how to define the Java methods. To define a user defined methods in Java, we require the modifiers to provide first. But this access modifiers and non-access modifiers, uh, if, you, if you don't know about the access modifiers, then uh, please look at my video on the access modifiers. I have told about the four access modifiers over there regarding uh, public, private, protected and default access modifiers. And we have also non-access modifiers like uh, static, final and, and all other things. Okay, we have the synchronizable for uh, for threads also. So we have lots of the non-access modifiers in Java and four access modifiers in Java. These things can be used uh, to provide a certain limit on a limit of access to a particular method. Yes, those things are not mandatory. But the return type and the name of a method is a mandatory. Then it is mandatory to provide this opening bracket and to close this first bracket. And to open this curly bracket and to close this curly bracket. Even writing the method body is not mandatory, but the method will be of no use if you don't provide any body inside there. This is a basic example of a Java methods, okay, which has the modifiers. Here you are using public and static modifier. Return value type you are using here is int. It's mandatory. You have to definitely provide a return type and a method name. The method name should be unique. Yes, in case of method overloading, the signature will be different, but the method names will be same. If you want to no more about the method overloading is an advanced concept if you're learning now the method uh, in java then the method overloading will be the next level concept for you you can see a video for me i have a video for that we have the formal parameters the parameters can be also provided and it's also optional the parameters are not mandatory so whatever the things are mandatory i have put over there Then type name this bracket opening bracket and this closing bracket and this curly bracket opening and curly bracket closing these things are mandatory in Java methods. So you'll see today how to define a method. Let's define a method. We can define a method with a return type and name. What the name we want to give? My method. We are giving the name my method. It's enough. It's all good. This much is mandatory. Return type, name of the method, opening and closing of the first bracket, opening and closing of the curly bracket. This opening and closing of first bracket tells that it's a method. The compiler now knows that a method if you provide return type then the compiler knows that it's a method yes and the name should be unique then this curly bracket requires for what reason to define the method actually the signature of the method what the method will do that will be defined over here I can just write a simple method over here to call system dot out dot print ln so we are just going to print something from this method nothing else so side That we are just going to print if we call this method. If you execute this, you can see that nothing happens. Just this hello will be printed. Why? Because a method just declaration is not sufficient. You have to call the method. How to call the method? You have to just use the name of the method and opening and closing bracket. That, that's enough for that. But see here it's giving error. Why? Because a method cannot be called directly. Rather, you have to create an object of the method to call the method. Now you'll use this object. Yes, 
and we'll get the output here we'll get hello first and then hello inside method because the method is called over here so method, sh method should be declared defined and it also should be called to make it useful now we are discussing about the access modifiers we can give it public if we make, make we give it public then public will make the my method accessible from outside of the class and package also if we make it protected then based on the quality of the and the characteristics of the protected access modifier it can be used in the subclasses also if we make it no access modifier then it will be by default so it will be used inside the same package and if we make it private then also it will work in this case because the uh, my method is defined here and it is being called from the body of the main only yes so it will be called from here yes and if it make it some other access modifier like static if you make so a static method can be called without the creation of the object from the body of the another static method so main method is static right so may from the body of the main method without creating the object of the class even you don't require this line now we can directly call this method yes so my method is called automatically see this is giving the result hello inside my method now we'll see regarding the uh, parameter give the parameters in the method single parameter now whatever the that value will get inside so you cannot call just method without giving any parameter you must have to pass the parameter because this method takes a parameter so here we will put some value put the value yes then it will be executed but it's of no use now because the a the value of integer a we are not using which is actually 100 when you are passing it so you can just display it over here and it will be displayed hello hello inside my method so you can do something some other things is equals to a 100 so 100 will be changed to 200 now so it will display 200 Yes, so in this way we can use the parameterized methods also. This is the basics of the methods in Java. Thank you for watching the video.